Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mel and this is Melis Makes. Today is Valentine's Day, so today's video is a Valentine's Day card tutorial using die cuts, ephemera and paper from pebbles and crepe paper. So to start off with, my base card is this grey cardstock, which is Dreadnought Grey by Canford. It's a 300 GSM cardstock and available from most UK craft shops. I got mine from Cass Art. I'm scoring and folding this using my mini Martha Stewart scoring board and then cutting this down with the Tonic Studios guillotine. I have um, marks and indentations on both the guillotine and on the scoring board so that if I need to whip up a card pretty swiftly then I'm able to take an A4 piece of card out and then measure and cut it down to size for the desired card that I'd like to create. So for the next part, I'm actually going to be using some patterned paper. So it's going to be Valentine themed patterned paper. So these are from Crate Paper. This is from the Hello Love and from the Heart Day collections by Crate Paper. So I've cut these down to size so that you're not watching me cut paper all day. And I'm going to be putting this red piece on first i'm using red liner tape as an adhesive um i love red liner tape so for me it's probably the most uh, comfortable for the adhesive that i use i use it all the time and i pretty much run out of it all the time um because i use it so much but it's a great adhesive and over time i think it will just hold up a lot more better so i'm just sticking on this red patterned paper first and then I'll put the black and white patterned paper on after. And these are the two patterned papers that I'll use for the main card base. I will then use another piece from one of the collections. This is a smaller square patterned paper measures, which measures four by four. And using the We Are Memory Keepers punch board, this will make a two by two envelope for the card. Um, I used a UK website to use custom measurements for a smaller envelope as I think the lower size on the punch board is a two by three gift card. So I've used this website to do a custom measurement for a smaller card. You can also use the same website to do bigger envelopes as well if you wish and um, that will be in the description below. So I'm using that to put on my card. I'm just fastening it up with the red liner tape and then using the same red liner tape to stick it onto the main base of the card. So once I've positioned that, I'm now going to use some die cuts. These are gonna be from Pebbles and these are the My Punny Valentine die cut and ephemera. It's a great collection, it's got lots of puns on it. I think I spent quite a few minutes trying to decide which one to use. I think I um I ended up for the main card just using this I I Love You die cut and then using several elements on the card just to kind of figure out where I'm gonna put everything. So I decided only to use maybe three or four of the elements and then try and test it out which one suited the cards a lot more better. So I'm just using this pink Happy Valentine's Day die cut and I've just put that on using foam tape and then I will use a mixture of foam tape and red liner tape to put this main I love you die cut on the front. Just because I'm very aware that the um, envelope on the card is actually quite bulky already so I didn't want to add too much bulk but I still wanted the I love you to be the main focal point of the card. So I'm now going to use glue dots to put on the penultimate die cut on the card, which is this red heart with an arrow on it. And then you'll see me trying to test out this bigger heart, which I thought was just too big for the top of the envelope. So I've just used this small paper punch from Hobbycraft. It's a small heart paper punch. And I'm just positioning where I want it to be on the envelope. And I'm just going to use a glue dot for the final adhere onto the card. And that's it. 
that's the finished card. I hope you guys like this. I will actually be giving this card to my other half. So I hope that he likes it as well. And I hope that you guys liked it too. And here's some pictures of the finished card. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you, if you have any comments, please do put them in the comments box. And I will leave all the links in the description box below. If you have social media, please do follow me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Until the next video, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.